guys, so today's video is hopefully going to be a helpful guide video for you if you are a lover of lipsticks. Um, right now it's kind of like Christmassy time and festive period and people are cracking on out the bold lip. Bold lip can be around all year round but sometimes we just want to crack them out more when it's Christmas. So I thought I would just do like a tips video of how to make a say a red lipstick because that's what I'm using in this video a red lipstick lasts longer and um, I have like basically step by step I've got them all here laid out I'm just gonna basically go through each step and kind of show you as well what I would do to make a lipstick last longer um so yeah I'm gonna get started so all the items I'll list below everything I use um, I'm not sponsored by anyone in this video I know I use a few products from the same company but I'm not sponsored FYI just throwing it out there so first thing you want to do is to prep these lips and you can prep them by basically taking off any old makeup you've had on before if you need to but the prepping is the scrubbing and basically exfoliating your lips to make the base smooth you can either use your toothbrush this is mine it's pink and uh, basically make sure there's no like paste on it obviously and just on your dry lips or even when they're wet you could just scrub them and buff them um, so, and then dry them and then maybe do it again to so get rid of any dead skin so you can do that with a toothbrush or you can use a scrub and I have this one from Lush which is the bubblegum one it's bright pink and it's basically a sugary scrub and you could probably make this at home you don't have to go out and buy one from Lush you could just use a little bit of sugar a little bit of water just make it a little bit grainy and just scrub it on your lips and then just pat them dry with a tissue do that and off you go basically and yeah I'll get the lid back on yeah. so you can do that um so exfoliate your lips make them nice and smooth so the product can adhere to a better base so that's that step one next step i do is to put some balm on and i just grab a chapstick type bar this was is bistex raspberry lemonade blast um, I just put that on, I've actually put that on already because I already exfoliated my lips before doing, like starting the video so I put that on. I would usually, what I tend to do, and I've done it before in tutorials, um, I'll put the balm on at the beginning and then I'll do the rest of my makeup and then that will kind of be sort of absorbed into the lips already but you'll still have a nice kind of base but it's not so wet and moist from just when you first apply it so I've had this on for a while on my lips so I'm gonna get started with the adding of the lip products but yeah use a balm any balm you like so your lips are nice and moisturized you don't want it to be too dry because then it will look a bit strange when you put lipsticks on next up is a lip liner get a lip liner that is basically a similar shade or maybe a little bit darker to what you um, are using lipstick wise this shade or this is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Thousand Kisses Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil. Whew. Um, this is the shade Black Tulip, and it's just a really kind of dark red. And I'm gonna put this on. What you want to do first is kind of fill in your lips, and just I tend to take it on the side of the pencil and just kind of like fill in the lips and then you find this will go on smoother because you've got a little bit of balm on it's not so hard so fill in your entire lip area I'm going to speed you up Once you've kind of filled in the like the main area of your lip, you then want to start to line your lips. You just want to be careful when doing this. Um, if you ever make mistakes, if you've like gone over your lip line, if you don't want to, don't wipe it away. Go into the lip with it. Just go like that, so it takes off the product inwards. If you do it outwards and you've got your face on already, you're just going to smear the lipstick over your face, which you don't really want to do. So if you've got any issues, just sort of put your finger down and push into the lip area so it pushes it into the lips not out into the face so now you want to fill in or just draw on the line of your lips
So that's the lips lined now. Basically, you kind of want to press your lips together. You could blot them on a tissue if you want to. I don't tend to do that. I just kind of just press them together a little bit. So once you've done that, what you can do is just, you could leave it as that if you want. If you've got a really good stay all day liner, you could just carry the liner around with you and use that. You don't even have to use lipstick if you don't want to. But I'm going to top this off with lipstick. Um, with the lipstick, you can apply it straight from the bullet. This is the Rimmel Double, not Double, 107, which is a very similar shade. I would actually swatch the shades on the back of my hand so you can see what the liner and this lipstick look like they're very very similar as you can see so the liner is just slightly darker which you generally want when you're lining the lips the the old-fashioned way is for it to be slightly darker than the lipstick so you have an obvious line but i don't actually like the obvious line i like it to be quite similar so you can take it straight from the bullet if you want to and just go straight in like that or you can use a lip brush um, this one is the Real Technique Real Techniques um, detailer brush it's very very small and you can just go straight in there onto the bullet and just pop it wherever you want like that basically or you could go more bold and actually go straight in with the bullet of the lipstick and the technique I know of is you always sort of think to go like this outwards but the actual technique to get it right I've heard and I've been told is to go from the sort of the crack of the lip upwards and that's what I'm going to do So once you've finished that, you can then take your lip brush if you want to and you can do a more precise edge by just using the side of the brush and your lipstick and just making the edge more defined if you want to. So that is all that on. And then if you want to, you can put gloss on the top if you want. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to use this. And this is called Lip Coat. And this has been around for so many years. I remember my mum using this when I was a little girl. And I used to always pick the bottle and thinking, oh, it's so cute. This basically um, gives your lipstick stain power. Um, I don't even know how it does it. It kind of just makes it last a bit longer. It's like a kind of a... I don't know, a sealant almost, and you just take it straight from there and put it straight on, or you could use a disposable brush if you want to, and I just put it straight on. And it will tingle, it's like kind of like a warm sensation, but it will tingle, don't worry, it's fine. And just, it'll kind of almost, you'll feel it sort of tighten up and that's fine as well, it's perfectly normal. And this will make it last a heck of a lot longer by just layering it up and everything. So that's that. If you really want your lips to be even more like, not bold, just, I don't know what the word is, if you want it to look more defined and more bam, you could use a small brush like the detailing one again, this is a clean one obviously, and your um, concealer and you can go around the edge and just you know make the edge more sharp and more sort of precise. I'm not going to do that but that is a tip if you want to make the line look a little bit better or neater if it's kind of kind of got a bit messy and you just need to kind of touch up any areas just use a little teeny tiny brush like that and your concealer and just do that. But yeah those are my tips to make your lipstick last longer. The key things are to exfoliate your lips first, lose a little bit of balm, a lip liner and then your lipstick and then a sealant if you want to. You don't have to use a sealant you could just leave it like that but everything helps if you want your lipstick to last longer so yeah that's the video guys i hope you enjoyed it and it helped a little bit um i'll see you in my next one